10 Science Facts the Bible Got Right When Nobody Else Did Watch to the end for a bonus science fact. Special thanks to Evidence Study Bible for providing today's facts. Fact 10 The Earth is Round In the 8th century BC, most people believed the Earth was flat, but not the Bible. Isaiah 40, 22 it is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, and spreads them out like a tent to dwell in. Yeah, but couldn't that mean a flat circle, like a disc? The Hebrew word for circle in this passage is hug, which can be translated as circle, orb, sphere, or tropic. Well, Isaiah is describing God stretching the sky over the earth like a tent. So, sphere would make the most sense in this context. So, the world was round. But most people on Earth didn't know this, at least not for sure, until Magellan sailed around the world in the 1500s. But the Bible did. Fact 9. There are billions of stars. Until about the Renaissance, most people believed that there were only about a thousand stars in the night sky. But not the Bible. Jeremiah 33:22, As the host of heaven cannot be numbered, neither the sand of the sea measured, so will I multiply the seed of David my servant, and the Levites that minister unto me. So the host of the heavens are the stars. But why did people think that there were only 1,000 stars? Because that's all they could see with their naked eye, depending on where you are located on the earth and how good your eyesight is. As late as 1598, Tycho Brahe completed a catalog of 1,000 stars because, well, that's all that he could see. It wasn't until the invention of the telescope in 1608 that astronomers realized that there are billions of stars, with more being discovered every year. The stars are truly innumerable, even today. The big question is, how did Jeremiah know that 2,600 years ago? Good question. Fact 8. The Earth is floating free in space. It is not resting on the back of an animal or in the arms of Atlas. Job 26, 7. He spreads out the northern skies over empty space. He suspends the Earth over nothing. Wow, what an amazing description of what astronauts actually see when they go into space. But uh, how did Jeremiah know that it looked like that? Uh, he, he never went into space. Good question. Fact 7. The universe is made of invisible elements. Hebrews 11.3 By faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. Our bodies, uh, these, these artifacts, everything, is made out of atoms, electrons, and other subatomic particles. Right, but they are too small to be seen with the naked eye. So they are, by definition, invisible. Okay, but how did the writer of Hebrews know that 2,000 years ago? Good question. Fact 6. The stars are all different. 1 Corinthians 15 41. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For star differs from star in glory. So what does Paul mean by glory? Luminosity how bright they are. He's using this scientific observation from nature to explain how our heavenly bodies will be different from our earthly ones. Yeah, but didn't everybody know that the stars were all different? Well, no. Most Greeks and Romans uh, thought that they were all basically the same, except the wanderers, the planets, which they thought were gods. Right, uh, Venus, Mars, is that all you can remember? Fact. Five. Light is not fixed, it actually moves. Job 38, 19 to 20. What is the way to the abode of light, and where does darkness reside? Can you take them to their places? Do you know the paths to their dwellings? So what, what does that mean? Light has a house? No, light does not have a house. It's constantly moving. The idea that light or photons moved was suggested by Einstein in 1905. And yet, Job somehow knew about it thousands of years ago. That's amazing. Fact 4. Air has weight. Job 28, 25. 
when he gave to the wind its weight and apportioned the waters by measure. Hey, uh, we did this experiment in science class with a syringe and a balloon. What a mess. Right, but that experiment wasn't suggested until 1644. So how did Job know that air has weight? Good question. Fact three. Winds blow in cyclones. Ecclesiastes 1.6. The wind goeth toward the south and turneth about unto the north. It whirleth about continually, and the wind returneth again according to his circuits. That's cool. It's like Solomon had a weather chart from a satellite, and he was tracking exactly where the wind was going. But the early Greeks thought that there were only two winds, north and south. Later on, they added in west and east. But Solomon knew it wasn't like that. Right, because winds blow in cyclones, not in straight lines. Fact two. Blood is the source of life. Leviticus 17.11 For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. Blood brings oxygen and nutrients to our cells. If your blood stops flowing through your body, then you die. But uh, people didn't know about the circulatory system until 1628. In the Middle Ages, doctors would bleed you when you were sick. Yuck. Fact one. The ocean floor has valleys, mountains, and springs. 2 Samuel 22:16. The valleys of the sea were exposed, and the foundations of the earth laid bare at the rebuke of the Lord, at the blast of breath from his nostrils. Jonah 2.6 At the bottom of the sea, where the mountains take root, I was as far down as a body can go, and the gates were slamming shut behind me forever. Yet you pulled me up from that grave alive, O God, my God. Job 38.16 Have you entered the springs of the sea? Or have you walked in search of the depths? It's amazing that these Bible authors knew so much about the ocean floor. I mean, it's not like they had scuba gear back then. True. And the first underwater vents weren't discovered until 1977. Bonus fact. Washing prevents disease. Leviticus 15.13 And when he who has a discharge is cleansed of his discharge, then he shall count for himself seven days for his cleansing, wash his clothes, and bathe his body in running water. Then he shall be clean. Now, it seems like a no-brainer, David. Uh, didn't doctors always wash themselves? No. Doctors didn't start washing their hands between patients until the mid-1800s. In fact, one of the first doctors who suggested washing his hands was thrown in an insane asylum. And yet Moses and Aaron were washing their hands and feet more than 3,000 years ago. You bet. Okay, but you still haven't answered my question. How did all of these Bible authors know all of these scientific facts thousands of years before the advent of science. There's only one answer. Aliens. No. The Bible is not an ordinary book written by the wisdom of men. It is the inspired word of God. God knew all of these facts about the universe because he created it. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <laughs>